Hello, welcome to lesson 14. In this lesson, we are going to look at examples on determination of refractive index. Remember, we had discussed the determination of refractive index in the previous lesson, so we are going to continue with that and look at some examples. Then also, we are going to look at real and apparent depth. Let's begin by looking at the examples on the determination of refractive index. Remember, we had said the refractive index can be good as n is equal to r over h or you can have it as n is equal to r minus d over h minus d so we are going to see some examples here a liquid is placed in a concave mirror to a depth of two centimeters an object held above the liquid coincides with its own image when it is 45.5 centimeters from the pole of the mirror if the radius of curvature is 60 centimeters, culture the refractive index of the liquid. So here we shall straight forward look at the formula, which is n is equal to r minus d over x minus d. So we shall have that, which is going to give us r is 60, and the x, which we called h in the experiment, is 45.5. And therefore we shall substitute that. And then get 1.33. Just look at another example. A liquid is poured into a concave mirror to a depth of 2.0 centimeters. An object held above the liquid coincides with its own image when it is 27.0 centimeters above the liquid surface. Above the liquid surface. If the radius of curvature of the mirror is 40.0 centimeters, culture the refractive index of the liquid. So here we are still going to use n is equal to r minus d over x minus d. However, this time round, they didn't have given us x, not x, they have given us the distance which was given was already, is already x. We don't need to subtract again the d because it is from the surface on the surface of the liquid above the surface of the liquid so we don't need to subtract the d because the d has already been subtracted and so they've already subtracted the d so it means they've given us already uh, the x when they have not considered the d so in other words the x minus d has already been given so let us see the formula so we're going to have r minus d divided by x where x is actually what would be the x minus d so but now so it means I've already substituted. So in this case, the x here is like the x minus d. So when we substitute for r as 40 minus 2 divided by x, which is 27, we shall get 1.4 as the refractive index. Let us also look at the, another example here. A small concave mirror of focal length 8 centimeters lies on a bench and a pin is moved vertically above it. At what point will the pin coincide with its image if the mirror is filled with water of refractive index 3 quarters? So here they have given us the focal length which will give us the radius of curvature. And then they have also given us the refractive index and they want us to get the x. So I shall use the formula n is equal to r over x and then replace for r since we know r is given by 2 times f which is 2 times 8, which gives us 16. So we get 16 there. We replace it or substitute for it here. Uh, we shall have 16. And then here we shall have x. And this is going to be 4 over 3. When I cross multiply, I make x the subject. Then I'll have x is going to be 16 divided by 4 over 3. Then we shall have 12 centimeters. Therefore, the pin coincided with its image at a height of 12 centimeters above the mirror. This is above the mirror. Let us look at real and apparent depth. Now, here we have a ray OB which is refracted at the surface here. The, the medium glass, this medium may be glass, glass air surface. And then it is when it is refracted, it appears to be coming from I. That means that, that means that the image will be 
here. So it means that to an observer at C, this object will seem to be at I. So this distance OA is going to be the apparent depth and the distance so the, the distance OA is the real depth and the distance IA is going to be the apparent depth. Now let us apply Snell's law at this point so that we can derive the relation between uh, real and apparent depth and the refractive index. So if you apply Snell's law at this point, we are moving from glass to air. So we shall say n glass sine r is equal to n air sine i. So that will give us our first equation. Then we shall substitute for sine r. But what is sine r from this diagram? Sine r is going to be opposite, which is a AB over hypotenuse, which is OB. And sine i is going to be, using this one, we shall have opposite, which is AB over hypotenuse, which is IB. So we shall substitute for that here. When we substitute, we shall have that, remember, the refractive index of air is 1, so this will have 1 here. Then this is N subscript G, A, B over O, B is equal to A, B over I, B. When you cross multiply and then make N give the subject, remember this will cancel with that. And so we shall have I, we shall have O, B over I, B. So N G is going to be O, B over I, B. Now let's make another assumption here or another consideration that uh, this angle, I, uh, I and R, they are small angles. They are small angles since this A is assumed to be very close to B. And if this A is close to B, it means that I and R are going to be small angles. And so the distance OA is approximately equal to the distance OB. And the distance IA is approximately equal to the distance IB if this is very close to that. So if we replace here, it means that where we have OB, we can place OA. And where we have IB, we are going to have IA, which is actually real depth over apparent depth. Now, if we let the thickness of this glass block be T, and then O I B D, which is actually the displacement D. O I is the displacement of the of the object. So if you have that displacement D, then we can get the apparent depth as the real depth, which is T over sorry minus the that displacement D. Because if O I is the displacement, then we shall get this distance, the apparent depth here as the whole of this, which is T minus the D. That's how we are getting this. T, which is the thickness, over the thickness minus the displacement. And if we make N the subject, sorry, if we make D the subject, mathematically you can make D the subject by cross multiplying and then pulling out D and making D come to one side and then we make D the subject, we shall be able to get T as so we shall be able to get D as T into brackets 1 minus 1 over N. Where N is the refractive index of this glass or any other media. It may not only be glass, so this N will stand for the refractive index of this material. I've already said that the D is the apparent displacement and T is the thickness. Let's look at some example. A microscope is focused on a mark on a table when the mark is covered by a plate of glass 2 cm thick, the microscope has to be raised 0 0.67 for the mark to be once again or once more in focus. What is the refractive index of the glass? So here we are going to use the formula N is equal to T over T minus D where the thickness T is given as 2 centimeters and then 
D because remember this microscope had to be raised means that it had been displaced there was a displacement in order for it to be seen in order for the mark to be seen so then that means that the displacement is 0 0.67 so we shall replace that in the formula substitute in the formula and then we shall have 2 divided by 2 minus 0 0.67 and we shall have 1.5 as the refractive index I also so use look at this second question an object 6 centimeters below the tank of water of refractive index 1.3 I think there is a, something missing here an object is okay determine the re, determine the displacement of object to the observer directly above the tank okay so we have a tank we have a tank and that tank has water of refractive index 1.3 and I'm saying that there is an object which is below. So the thickness is going to be 6. So the T is 6. And then the refractive index is 1.3. So they want the D. So I shall just use the formula. D is equal to D is equal to T into brackets 1 minus 1 over N. So that's the formula we shall use. And then replace where T is 6 and N is 1.33. When we replace, we substitute for that, we shall have D as 1.48 centimeters. Using your calculator, you'll get this. Let's continue and look at the third example. So we have a tank contains slabs of, sorry, a tank contains slab of glass 8 centimeters thick and the refractive index 1.52. Above this is a liquid 10 centimeters thick and refractive index 1.45. And floating on the liquid is water, 3 centimeters of refractive index 1.33. Find the apparent position of a mark below the tank. Now remember, the mark is below the tank. But from the tank, we have a layer of glass, a layer of liquid, and a layer of water. So it means there is going to be displacement by all these media. So the total displacement is got by adding displacement at the different layers so we shall use the formula d is equal to t into brackets 1 minus 1 over n and then we shall apply that formula for the different layers where for the glass t is 8 n is 1.5 for the liquid t is 10 n is 1.45 and for the water t is 3 n is 1.33 and then we add all when we add all the displacements, we shall get 6.583 centimeters. Let's continue and look at um, this example for an object at a depth of 6 centimeters below the surface of, of water of refractive index 4 over 3 is observed directly above the water surface, calculate the apparent displacement of the object. So this one I shall just use the formula D is equal to T into brackets 1 minus 1 over N. That's the formula we shall use. Okay, to get that understanding, this is what we are talking about. We have this tank. The object is here. Of course, the apparent position will be here. So there is a displacement D. So I shall use the formula D is equal to T into brackets 1 minus 1 over N. And the where T is 6 centimeters and then N is 4 over 3. When we substitute there, we shall get D as that. So remember, N is 4 over 3, so 1 over N is going to be 3 over 4. And we shall get that. Then our D is going to be 1.5 centimeters. Let's also look at this question. A tank contains a slab of glass, 8 centimeters, and refractive index 1.6. Above this, is a depth above this is a depth of 4.5 centimeters of a liquid of refractive index 1.5 and upon it floats 6 centimeters of water of refractive index 4 over 3 calculate the apparent displacement of an object at the bottom of the tank to an observer looking downwards directly above 
directly above. So here we still have three layers, glass, liquid, and then water. And then the object is at the bottom. So still we are going to use displacement formula and then apply the displacement in all the layers. Let's look at this diagram to understand it. So this is what they are talking about, glass, liquid, and then water. So it is, the object is here, it will be displaced by the glass, the liquid, and the water. So we shall add the displacement. Using that formula, we shall add the total displacement is going to be D for the water, D for the liquid, and D for the glass. D for the water, we shall replace where we have water, we shall put the thickness of water. We have and refractive index of water. We have liquid, thickness of liquid, refractive index of liquid. We have glass, thickness of glass, refractive index of glass, and then we add. Then we shall have that. So D will be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 3, and that will give us 6 centimeters. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. Meet in the next lesson.